Oh, it's another lovely wind, stormy day in Coastal Highway. At least we're getting ready to leave the heck out of this zone. Hello, everybody. This is Frogman. Welcome back to the Long Dark and our interloper run that is going to start moving towards the far territory, hopefully fairly soon. Uh, I keep saying that. I know every single time. We have a couple of more major destinations that I do want to hit with this character, and if we run into some specific gear, there are going to be some zones that we're not going to be hitting. So we're going to probably do a little bit of goofing in the next couple of episodes, at least I'm hoping so. Uh, we are currently sitting right around day 40, according to this list, day 39, day 40. Um... I have a thought. We need to get out of this. We're, we need to get out of this zone as quickly as possible. We're just going to kind of have a really quick talk about this. We need to get out of coastal as quickly as possible, which is why I'm going to kind of just sit here for a second and talk, and then we're going to run out. Because last episode we ran over to the cabin that is over here at the well, kind of the midway up Bear Creek. Uh, I think this is Rabbit Glen or something, whatever it's called. Either way, we're going to need to start working our way out of this zone, and I want to try to maybe do a silly thing first and that silly thing is we're probably going to try to go to bleak inlet very 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 soon because well there are some things in bleak inlet that i want let's go outside and we'll go see how nasty the weather is given that it wasn't too terribly bad before we left last time good deal okay i am going to bring her in here very quickly we're going to take a ah, i guess they didn't fix the thing there it is okay whatever uh get one hour of sleep Excellent. That's what I was hoping for. The hypothermia risk to go away and the wind to stop. Let's continue on up the creek. Ah, I guess we had this out because of the bear last time, and the corpse is over there now, isn't he? Do I care enough? There's a corpse that spawns in right over. I'm not really going to care about it. Let's make sure we have a usable weapon on us. In case we run into a wolf, because I'm not going to blow a flare off into a wolf. And continue on up Bear Creek. We're going to go try to catch these two cabins very quickly. Cabins, trailers, I don't even know if they're worth looking at. I know the trailer, or they should say the cabin that's over here that kind of hides in a corner behind one of them, can tend to have a few things. But just looking at the way things are going now, we're after some specific stuff. Uh, we have the gear, we have the toys, I'm after this. I'm after clothing now. We've gotten to the point now where there are going to be some various things we just don't really need to worry about. I mean, a little bit more food would be great, sure. But let's just kind of go up the creek here. And we'll collect all of these cattails up. See how heavy we can get before we get to the end of the day. Uh, tab. Eh, we're mid-afternoon. It should start warming up here fairly soon. That arrow should start turning the other direction. It may be just a, let's just trudge across uh, the ravine and sleep in the ravine tonight, and we'll just ignore those two trailers. But we do want to pick as many of these as we can get. These are going to be food for us for a while. Plus, again, I don't ever see this character coming back to this section of the world. So we'll just keep going. Man, there's a bunch of coal on it this time, though. Eh, no. No. Get all of my cattails. I know this is riveting content. And now we're going to slow crawl up this. How heavy are we now? Oh, yeah, we might need to take a nap. Um, can I get up this hill, please? Actually, we're not done. I always have to remember, they keep going. Okay, I think given the time... Come on. I should have taken a nap in that cabin, but let's do this real quick. Uh, again, I want all of them. 
That other cabin is like right here, cabin trailer. The one that's low is right here. We just have to kind of walk straight from here. Although I have a notion to just drink a coffee and keep walking. Okay. Uh, the energy drink we have, we'll be saving that. Let's just see how much that'll do for us. Yeah, I know. We've got the wind blowing in our face. Let's just get out of here. I'm going to try not to run, but let's just go. We have a good enough amount of time. I would not mind having it all, spending the night in the ravine. That way we can investigate if the rope is there or not. Come on. Wow, there's just... And we'll just leave those three. If we feel like we need to come back, we can come back. We need to be out of Coastal Highway. I've had a lot of fun, but it's time to go. I can get rid of a, a couple of pounds right there. But 40 some odd cattails, that'll get us a long ways. And that's amazing. All right, let's go. Goodbye, Coastal Highway. Hello, Raven Falls Ravine and our incredibly heavy character. This is going to take a while given the fact that the wind seems to be blowing, but that's fine. We'll be all right. What we're going to do is we're going to aim to try to make one of these two caves today and stay in it for the night just so that we can sleep and catch another day of being outdoors because um well i guess it doesn't really matter at this point we don't need to be concerned about cabin fever half of the problem right now is that the wind's blowing in our face half of the problem is because of the fact we're uh, well a, a little too much overweight right now but that's okay We can walk across the bridge, trestle, and are you and did it to do. I do love this thing, it's so cool. Although I need to quit looking and just walk across it. You'll be fine, my dear. We're going to have a nice little place to camp here in a little bit. Hopefully. We get away from these loud waterfalls. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. We don't need a snowstorm. Come on. I mean, I'll run. I really don't care at this point. Let's just get through this tunnel. Okay, fine. We are not that heavy that is causing us that much problem. Somehow the wind is blowing right directly in our face in this cave.
Although I do think they fixed the noise. Directionally, the wind is blowing the right direction now. Of course, when we walk across the muskeg, the muskeg seemed like I always had so much trouble with that other character, with whom I've not touched in a good long time. Um, she always seemed to have quite a bit of a problem with directional wind noises. Um, given the fact that, you know, you'd spin your head around and if you have, a, you know, surround sound headphones or surround sound speakers, you could hear the wind being played in one specific direction, even though theoretically and technically the wind would just be louder in one direction, but still be all the way around. Let's get over here. Given that she's already huffing and puffing and slow and, you know, we're just going to fight it. It's fine. We have plenty of food. If nothing else, there's a rabbit. And we have a lot of coal probably now. Sit down and do a little bit of work. Do we get any food by this fire? Yes, we do. Beautiful. New even. Wonderful. And a piece of firewood. I guess we'll grab it just in case. All right. And let's just sit down here. We'll... uh. I know, you'll eat just about anything, won't you? Well, how about what, how about an old dead, dead kind of beef jerky thingy, whatever. And a little bit of water. Let's take a look and see what we've got going on with our problem. We're at 100 and we're started down. She's getting heavy. I have a ton of these things. We're going to be leaving these in the other cave, um, probably. Just because I don't see any reason to bring them with us anywhere else. And we're only going to ever go there to... Uh, to bleak one time. I did bring that. I probably could have left it. It's fine. We'll make sure to leave that in the for sure be leaving that very close to the dam, if not in the dam. And, you know, I could be leaving this behind at this point, I guess, but hey, um, no big deal. We have a little bit of food. We have four pounds of cattails. Let's uh, let's just do this. I'm gonna just kick this forward a little bit. We need to we need to eat and drink and do a few things like that. And I will see you guys in the morning when we leave this cave because we're at a point right now where we're gonna be fighting this. And as soon as she gets to be 20 pounds overweight, uh, she starts to crawl. And given the fact that the wind doesn't want to leave us the hell alone, uh, we'll just be in trouble. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a couple of things. Probably light a fire. And I will see you guys in the morning. So almost an entire half a day wasted in, re in the ravine because not only did we have a blizzard last night when we came in, we had a blizzard when we woke up this morning that was cold enough that I almost didn't have enough warmth to continue going forward. So we've managed to waste a few resources. We've managed to do a few things. Let's get ourselves moved on. We're going to be dumping some stuff off in the other cave fairly shortly, but the blizzard just ended. We can do a few things. Um... It just, I love the game sometimes with its back to back to back to back to back blizzards. It's, uh, it's a resource drain, I understand. I've been playing too many other games, and, you know, other games are sometimes a little bit better at resource management than this one is. Anyhow, let us, we, we, we used up a fair amount of the coal that we had. We're under 100 pounds now, or actually quite a ways under 100 pounds. But yeah, okay. Let's get over here. I'm not complaining. I'm not griping. I just want to get moved on. I'm getting to the point now with this one that I kind of want her moving and doing things that I've not done a lot and that not done a lot is getting the hell out of all of the zones that we're all familiar with and going and playing around a little bit in the <laughs> the new territory the new area we've been at this for i don't know how many episodes i think it's 13 or 15 or something like that and uh it's day 40 day 41 day 42 now we we need to kind of get moving not that i'm really concerned about being in a hurry i just I've done this a bunch, and it's getting a little bit old, and those are the kinds of things about this game that I love. It's not so much the difficulty of the um, the game style, like, it's not so much the difficulty of the interloper that bothers me, it's the just incessant, terrible weather that does nothing but just hold you against your will, against things. So, again, it's, like, really, really frustrating when you have, you know, back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back blizzards that... Well, in this case, we're fine because we're outside, but if you had, say, a, I don't know, 48 hours worth of blizzards, you'd be stuck in a house. Well, that 48 hours worth of blizzards could mean that in the middle of that, you end up with cabin fever, and then you have to figure out what you're going to do with it. Well, in that case, you just let your game run, but still. Um, <laughs> anyhow, let's... I guess... Here's what I'm going to do for now. 
we're going to drop all of those right here because I'll never use them anyway. Oh, I don't want to drop that. Give me this. We need it. Um, and I'm gonna leave. We'll leave those here. I don't think there's anything else we're gonna want. And I'm gonna leave. I don't know why I'm carrying this. It's like I'm gonna be coming back for it. Uh, I don't know why. A lot of this other stuff is going to be going with us. I'm gonna leave those right here because we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna be going to Bleak Inlet just as soon as we can go to Bleak Inlet. And those are best used in Bleak Inlet. And that should have gotten rid of not much. <laughs> I will take your stuff, and I guess we can just go. I was going to say we could go to this other cave. No, we'll save the what's in this other cave for when we come back through. And I think what we are going to do is we're going to go over and check the other... Well, maybe we need to check the cave. We need to find the rope. If we're going to go to Bleak Inlet right off, we need to find the rope. So, um, how many birch bark do we have still? Seven. You know, that'll make eight. I'm not going to walk massively out of my way for, for stuff, and we're going to leave the cattails that are in this zone. Because we're going to be coming probably right back, maybe, depending. I'm actually very much hoping for a moose in Mystery Lake. But, oh yeah, I need to go over there. What am I doing? I need to go over here. We need to go check this train car. We'll leave you cattails here for now. Just because we're so stinking heavy, I ate a bunch of them just to get the weight down. Can you run, please? Go. Wasted a whole day passing time in the ravine. Let's go. Please, 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 please. Don't make me go get that rope. Well, crap. There's a hammer. I don't want it. I don't want that either. And another small arms handbook and a brand new pry bar. Great. And what's in here? Anything good? Come on. Let's go. I guess we go back over to that other cave then. Sometimes it's over there. I mean, the chances of that rope being in here around this zone is still fairly good. From what I have seen and what I have read and what, you know, I've experienced with my own other character or two. So that rope still does spawn in this zone. It's just I don't think it spawns as much as it either used to or didn't. The ravine is not nearly as good for, a, for an interloper as it used to be. It's a place where you can still get a hammer, but the hammer is not here all the time anymore. I don't think. But the, the basin of the ravine, where we used to be able to get a stem and a flare, I think the only thing down there now is a stem. And we have five of them, I think. So let's walk over here. We'll check this cave. I wasn't going to, but we will. We'll leave off some of the materials that we have, like probably a couple of pieces of coal. Should hunt a deer, but I'm not really into it right now. We need to kind of, like I said, move. What are we going to get? Right now. Yeah, you're just always going to be that way. And always eat anything. Alright, good. It's here. Beautiful. Beautiful. God, that saves me having to go so far into Mystery Lake. Awesome. Okay. Uh, let's do this real quick. Let's drop five of those. For now, that'll keep us with something to do. And... I don't think there's anything else I want to put in here. Have one of those. That'll help a little. All right, cool. 
Ropes here, beautiful. We'll be coming back to get that thing, putting it up and going. We're going to be picking up everything that we can get. We're going to leave a bunch of stuff in the dam. The circle is going to be interesting if I end up doing what I want to do. And that what I want to do is... It, it, I'm, I'm contemplating now at this point going into Pleasant Valley, going and getting all of the parts that we have, building that bear coat. I have a feeling it's going to take us longer than five days to get out of... Um, yeah. God dang, those things scare me half to death. It's not a bear. There is no predators in this zone. Um, the circle is going to be worse than the circle we just did in Coastal Highway if we go do what I think we need to do. If we go to Pleasant Valley, go get our bear skin and all of those parts and get things done, it might be one of those, if we pop out over here, we're still going to go to Bleak Inlet. We're still going to Bleak Inlet. I'm just trying to figure out whether it makes more sense to just circumvent almost the entirety of Mystery Lake by popping out in the Forlorn ready to go to Bleak Inlet. If the moose is right here, that's maybe what we do. We go get the moose down. We do a very small localized loot of Mystery Lake. And then go to Pleasant Valley, go get our stuff built. Come back, go to Bleak, go to Bleak up here, and then just kind of skip most of this zone. I understand that. It's kind of silly, but I'm, I'm seriously contemplating skipping all of Milton, all of, uh, well, we're not going to Black Blackrock for sure. Um, let's just look. I don't see any markings. I haven't seen this moose in a long time. I know we've I, I know we had him spawn in our I think it was our cartographer run where we had the markings for him, but he didn't ever show up. Well, uh, Missy, I think we're going to go indoors. We're going to go deliver a few things. Let's go check the cat, the, these two trailers out. We'll go, I guess, probably loot the lower level of the dam. I'm just trying not to backtrap over and over and over. And I know it's the way the game works. You're supposed to make decisions and, and, and do things. But I'm really trying not to backtrack all over the place. Let's take a quick look-see in here. Maybe we can get a little bit more cheap, easy food. If not, we're have to gonna go put a deer up. I think that's going to be a major point anyway. We're still going to have to go put some food up once we get over to Pleasant it's Valley. Don't want it. No, thank you. Drop it this time. God dang it. Open it. Nice, thank you. We'll be putting that one in a locker over here. Oh, Pinnacle Peaches. Decent enough. Good enough. Good enough, enough, enough. Is there anything under? We used all of our cloth to repair everything, so we need to remember to pick some things up once we get in the dam. Going to have to eat something here fairly shortly. I'm surprised the doggo hasn't come to say hi to us. Paint can. And yes, please. Thank you. Anything, 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 nothing, 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 nothing. Hmm. Okay. Um, kind of got to look behind the shelves sometimes. Once in a while, there'll be a coffee pot back there. Not that there's anything in the coffee pot. Do we have anything we can eat without having a problem? I'm going to brave it. And I'm going to drink some. All right. We need to go ahead, run across the street, offload a whole bunch of stuff. 
I'm sitting here thinking about what I want to do. Given that I know how far I have to go to get what I want, if it's there. We have to at least go to the long bridge. At, well, I should say, we at least have to go to the radio hut. We're close to the radio hut. Or we have to go to the long bridge. And if the stuff is there, meaning what, what, we're, what I'm trying to explain, well, I guess what I'm trying to say in a roundabout way without spoiling it too much, is that there is some caches. Since we saw last time that that cache functioned, there are some caches in Bleak Inlet that an interloper should not get. On my other run, I got some really, really good stuff in it. And on other people's runs that I have spoken to, talked with, and otherwise watched on various streaming channels, have gotten the roughly the same equipment as well. It would, for us, make the difference between a wolf coat and not a wolf coat, as far as warmth is concerned. Let us let us just do this. We've spent a good amount of time moving. Let's sit down and dump a whole bunch of stuff. Let's put these on the ground so that we don't forget we have them. It's a good deal. We'll have lots and lots and lots of parts to take with us when we go. There is a fair amount of saplings in that zone. Uh, but again, I'm not probably going to bring anything more than a couple of maples in with us if we bring anything at all. I don't need any. I'm. We're going to take a couple of minutes here. I'm just going to dump everything off. And, well, we'll, uh, we'll be back in a second when I'm ready to start looting this area alrighty some of that sorted let's finish this loot at least on the uh, the floor here and the upstairs we'll just run this area and then we'll go go see what we get I've got uh, I've got a fair amount of room but we've got not a whole lot of light bulb uh, light bulb eye bulb and uh, light left so let's go ahead and get all of this sorted we will do the lower dam maybe next time or, or whatever. I, I, there's some things that I know I want out of Mystery Lake specifically, and we're going to have to go do some stuff to find those things. I don't exactly know where I found the, the keys and the notes for some of the mementos, but I ended up with both of them in this zone, and I know later on one was, um, one was shut off. So we'll have to look and see if the recent update that they put out the little bug fix or whatever it was before they announced that they were gonna delay the production of the next update next part next whatever the DLC and uh, some of that stuff got you know like I said something might have gotten fixed I don't know this will come in not really All right, super safe of nothing. What how thou, what thou, ha, you know, I can't even make funny things up when I try. There's probably not going to be a thing in it. Wow, are you kidding me? One. Let me guess, like five. Nope, 16. Oh, safe of nothing. Cash and nothing. Cash. Knew it. Probably was uh, maple syrup in that. And I took the cash. I don't know why. At least I thought I did. Yeah, I did. Goodbye. Alrighty, uh, I don't see anything else in here. Nothing on the floor. Go around the corner. It's getting dark. It'll be okay. Huh, alright. I'd like a little bit of food, but then again, we have a pile of cattails. What are we gonna get? 
We gotta go upstairs. We actually have to go up the stairwell. Stairwell's a new hot spot now for this area, for, for all of us. We'll eat those soups and pizzas in a minute. We have to go outside and make water anyway. Although we don't have to make a lot. There should be a decent amount in the bathroom over here. Is there anything in the refrigerator? Anything in the thing? No. Okay, cool. Uh, look around. Locker. You will be fine. I do feel like you eat a lot more. You go through a lot more calories now than you used to, too. Thank you, matches. We always like our matches. Probably should have kept that hat, but whatever. We'll be fine. Give me all of the water. Thank you. And... Nothing? Okay, cool. Alright, I don't have anything else left other than these two, and then we'll go upstairs. We'll grab that cloth hanging right there as well. Uh, you know, like, like I said, it's ten minutes for a piece of cloth. I guess I'll take those. And that is six minutes for a piece of cloth. And I really wish they would put these back out on this thing so I can buy them. I want those two posters. I want the three posters, actually. Give me that thing. I'll wrap it up later. There's actually three or four now? I forget exactly. Anyhow, stairwell. Make sure you go up and down both sides of this stairwell now. Because they're nothing this time. Nothing here. Nothing here. We're going to go in there in a second. And nothing today. Okay. Uh, in my other loper run, there was a hacksaw right there. Which is interesting because you find the hacksaw in the lower dam under the stairwell. In the old poison. Alright, let's see if we can find any more food. Quick rummage. Well, we still have daylight. And then we might go outside and poke a deer. With an arrow. Eh, maybe not. Nothing around. You random just looking through all of the drawers, never finding much of anything. Probably nothing in the trash can. Yeah, it, it's it's getting to the point where some of these are just like, like this is the point where it doesn't really make me feel bad about leaving certain things behind, because you're you're wasting energy and time looking for that random candy bar to show up. So it it gets to a point after a certain amount of days in in the game, especially playing Interloper or even for that matter Stalker that. Well, Stalker, you're just so flooded with things it doesn't really matter, and everything below Stalker, you're just literally just swimming in loot. That after a while, especially with Interloper, things degrade so quickly that after, I don't know, like 60, 70 days, it's almost not worth looking in any of the containers because the chances of you finding something that's even usable, even at this level of the game, at the scale, you're not going to find anything. But we do it anyway. Hey, nice. Like I need more tea. I have like five, six boxes of tea. I'll shut my mouth. I will shut my mouth. Thank you very much. I need to start drinking that coffee. All right. So that was pretty much a bust. There wasn't much of anything except for a couple little pieces of food, some water, coffee, and tea. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's see what we have over here. 
So I put everything away. If there's anything else I need to get rid of, that feather can go in here. We have a little bit of cloth. Food is staying with us. All this doesn't weigh a lot. I mean, it, it, it looks like it weighs a lot. It doesn't weigh a lot. This actually weighs more than half of those things do. Plus, we have a couple of cans that we can eat. I will put you two in there for a later date for me to rip you up. I think we're about as light as we're going to get. For the most part. So, we have 39 arrow shafts. We have currently 12 arrows on us plus two bows. Let's go see what kind of havoc we can raise with the local deer population. Actually, no. Looking at the time, what we're going to do is we're going to stop. We're going to save it right there. Yeah. And we're going to go raise heck with the deer population around here in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go stock up a little bit. We're going to go stock up a little bit next time. And maybe go locate a moose. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Saving the game. See you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.